Hey, this is Elijah from Breakdance, and in today's video, I'm going to show you our integration with variation swatches for WooCommerce by GetWoo Plugins. This is a plugin that allows you to display product options for variable products using some more attractive methods rather than the default dropdown that's offered by WooCommerce. So first things first, we need to go to plugins and we need to activate variation swatches for WooCommerce. Note that though this is by GetWoo plugins, it's listed as by Imran Ahmed in the WordPress plugin repository. So let's go ahead and activate that. And once that's done, we need to go to products and attributes and set up our attribute. So we're gonna do a color variation for this hat product. So let's do color. And for type, let's choose color. Note that we can also choose image, button, or radio. But in this case, we want color. And everything else can stay default. Let's add the attribute. And now we click configure terms. Here's where we can add our individual colors. We're gonna have orange. And here we can actually select what color is shown in the swatch. So we'll choose the default orange and add that color. Now we'll do black and choose black and add that color. Now we want blue and let's grab a blue color here and we want green. So let's grab a green. And so there we have all of our colors set up. Now we need to go to our product. So let's go to all products and let's go to fancy hat. Now, instead of a simple product in the product data meta box, we need this to be set to a variable product. Once that's done, we can go to attributes and we can choose our color attribute and add that. That's the one we just set up under products attributes. So now we can choose these colors that we set up. We want all of these colors to be available for this product. So we'll choose all of them. And then we want to make sure that visible on the product page is ticked and used for variations is ticked. So both of those options should be enabled. Then we save our attributes. Now we can go to variations and we can choose create variations from all attributes. We'll click OK and OK. And this will give us a variation per color. Now we just click add price to add the price across all of them. Now if you wanted each one to have its own price, you could do that too. Next, we do want an image on these. So we'll choose the appropriate image for each variation. This one's gonna be blue, so we'll pick the blue hat. And then we have the green one here, and then finally the orange one. Let's pick that. And now that's all set up. Now if we save these changes, and then update the product, and jump up to the front end and refresh, you can see that now instead of the default drop down that would let us choose color based on the color name, we have these attractive swatches with tooltips. And if we click one of them, we get the appropriate product image. Note that you can have multiple swatches depending on the variations available for your product, and they'll all be displayed right here on your product details page. Again, this is Elijah from Breakdance, and that's a quick look at our integration with variation swatches for WooCommerce by GetWoo Plugins. Thanks for watching.